A lesson that was learned early was that healthcare is local and the issues you need to deal with are the issues that are prevalent in the community that you exist in. The Bronx has a million and a half people and in those million and a half people we have some of the most extreme health challenges and financial challenges. Montefiore is central to the solution for the issues of this community. People working in healthcare uh, are some of the very best people uh, in the country because they're mission driven. They believe in the power of healing, and they believe in the power of caring for people. The best way to care for people is to hold yourself accountable. Well, accountability clearly is something that we at Montefiore have understood and continue to work on for many years. Montefiore's mission is uh, patient care, teaching, research, and community service. And those missions are longstanding and enduring. Montefiore has been in the Bronx since 1912. And from the beginning, Montefiore was a healthcare organization that was focused on its community and the needs of its community. In those days, illness tended to be chronic and there wasn't very much treatment. Montefiore founded a sanatorium for tuberculosis patients in the late 1890s. It was up in Bedford. You'd go up there, you'd be in the fresh air, you'd eat good food. But the care there was extraordinary. From the beginning of its journey in the Bronx, Montefiore's goal became to uh, develop what the modern hospital would look like. And pretty much from 1912 to 1950, Montefiore's way of conducting business was best defined as a community hospital. It was a very innovative period of time when some of the programs that are uh, still here began. Home Health, Montefiore Medical Group, Post-1950, Montefiore developed into a, a very fine teaching hospital. When the Albert Einstein College of Medicine opened in 1955, that was a relationship that was destined to grow over time. And Montefiore always was there when a, a public health issue was important to take a stand on. Uh, lead prevention, child abuse, care for the elderly. When Montefiore and Einstein began a partnership, we really crossed over into what is commonly known as an academic medical center. And there's just a little over 100 academic medical centers in the country, but uh, there really is only a few that are in a rarefied group, the very best, what we call the premier academic medical centers. This is uh, something that we're focused on today. To be premier, in my mind, is to be uh, recognized and known by your, the community of peers across the country. It's the institutions that uh, have the best outcomes, that take care of the most complex patients in the most sophisticated ways, and do it in a learning and educational environment. Increasingly, Montefiore is recognized as an institution that ranks the highest in the country in terms of uh, the hard metrics and in terms of reputation. The most remarkable example of that is the rapid climb in the rankings 
of our children's hospital. And it is recognized now as one of the top children's hospitals in the country. But it's not the only area. It's true in cardiac care. It's true in oncology or cancer care. It's true in neurological and neurosurgical care. And those uh, components of our organization, along with transplant, are taking us into the, the very top tier of uh, academic medical centers across the country. What makes us very different than every other academic medical center is that we're not just one big hospital performing extraordinary surgeries and care and cures, but we do that and fulfill our missions in an integrated delivery system of the future. Montefiore seeks to take meaningful responsibility for its entire community. And that goes back to the very beginning of Montefiore's history. That's a very different kind of system, and that's one that distinguishes us.